Good morning, grade three. Today our lesson is writing. As every Thursday we take writing. Okay. So <clears throat> our ta our uh, subject for today is letter to the editor. What does this title mean? Letter is writing a letter. I will tell you later how to write a letter or refresh with you how to write a letter because we already know. Now, what is an editor? Editor is a person who works on a newspaper. His job is to receive letters from the readers so he can publish it and put it on the newspaper. Usually, when you, if you want to write a letter to the editor, you will tell him about a problem in your community or in your society. For example, if you have a problem in your school and you want the others to know about it, like you do not have a clean classrooms, you do not have tables, you do not have enough chairs, he would write a letter to the editor and tell him about this problem so he can publish your letter, put it on the newspaper, and everyone can read your problem and try to solve it for you. So an editor is a person who work on a newspaper. You send him a letter to tell him about your problem. So to come up with solutions and ideas on how to solve your problem. A letter to the editor is a letter sent to a publication. Person who works in a newspaper about issues of concern from its readers. Issues of concerns like if you have a problem that you are, it's making you worry, worry and you want to solve this problem. Now, rules to write formal letter. Formal letter is when you are sending a letter to a person that you do not know and you have to be formal. You have to put all of your ideas on it and you have to speak in a polite way because you, it's, a, it's not your, like your friend, not you're sending a letter to your friend or your a family member, no. You are sending a letter to a person that you do not know, but he can have a solution for your problem. What are the rules? What should I write on my letter? Write simply, simple information, clear information. Do not make your letter very long, May just write your main ideas on it. So try to rewrite as simply and clearly as possible and not to make the letter longer than necessary. Write the date, of course. Where do we write the date? We write it on the right side of the page here, on this side, like if you, this is a letter, you would write the date here. And if you want to write your address as well, you can write it under the date here also as, as well on the, uh, right side, the, the top right side of the page. Write the month as a word. If you want to write a month, the date, sorry, like today is 19-3-2020. How do we write it? We write it 19 March 2020. If we want to write the month, because it is writing, we do not write it as a number. We write it as... Um, I'll show you. You would write it as a word. Like today's date is like this, 19-3-2020. If I want to write it on the letter, it should be like this, 19 March 2020. Okay? Start your letter with dear, of course. Then, after you finish writing the date, you will write to whom you are sending this letter. Dear Mr or Mrs., then his or her name. If you do not know the name, you can just write Dear Mr. or Dear Mrs. So start your letter with Dear, then the name of the person you are writing to, or you can write Dear Mrs. or Dear Mr. How do I end my letter? End your letter with uh, <coughs> your signature, but before your signature, with words such as sincerely, faithfully, with love, and then you write your name or signature under it. So again, what are the rules on writing 
a, a former letter or this is a rule this a rule apply for all of the kind of letters that you should be simple you should be clear so the publisher or the editor can understand your problem and what you are talking about do not make your letter too long just address your problem on it and finish write the date on the right side of the page or of your letter if you are writing the month write it as a word not as a number start your letter with dear then the name of the person you are writing to if you do not know the name of the person you can write dear mr or dear mrs it is enough then and after that dear mr put a stop or a dot then a comma dear mrs for example mrs amani you are sending a letter to me after you write my name you should put a comma then start a new paragraph to write your problem then start your paragraph then end your letter with such words sincerely with love and write your name or signature under it here are the most important thing that you should take care of the sender's address if you want to write the address the date the editor address sender's address is your address editor address is the address of the person you are sending sending the letter to uh, not to be more than the six words the address then sir or dear sir then the body of the letter then yours yours sincerely sincerely with love you can choose any of these yours comma or you can write sincerely comma or you can write with love comma and then write your signature or your name now this is an example of a friendly letter okay to the editor the statesman this is the address Kolakata. okay here they wrote the title public consciousness of a clean surroundings how do we keep our clean our surrounding clean surrounding is like our house is our surrounding our school is our surrounding the place where we live or where we stay or where we go to like a mall like a garden like a park okay sir would you please allow me to ventilate my views on the necessity and the necessity of creating public consciousness of a clean surroundings nobody likes dirt and rubbish but we find it everywhere we think that it will be nice to live in a clean beautiful surroundings we keep our homes clean but we are losing our civic sense and do not take care of keeping our public places clean the parks are sometimes made filthy by throwing garbage filthy means dirty the streets railway stations bus stop and marketplaces are full of torn papers cigarettes ends bananas skins etc we spit here and there in public places this is a gross but we, a lot of people do it this shows we are more carefully about our own things than public property but dirty surroundings breed germs and spread diseases it affects our health and hygiene sometimes it annoys people and causes accidents on the other hand clean surrounding look nice and we feel happy therefore it is important that we keep our surroundings clean we must remember the proverb cleanliness is next to godliness you're faithfully here she wrote uh, the signature on the uh, you're faithfully you can write sincerely you can write yours only 
yours faithfully and then hear her name, but it is not clear. Here she wrote the address and the date. She write it under the letter, not at the top. And it is okay. It's okay to write it here under the letter when you finish or to write it before you start. But usually it's better to write it before you start here on the right side. So this was a sample. This was a sample of a, uh, this was a sample of, who's still asking what book? Okay. So this was a sample of a friendly, uh, sorry, letter to the editor. It is a woman who sent a letter to be published on the newspaper to let the people be aware of the cleanness of the surrounding, how to keep the clean, the surrounding clean around them, how to we keep everything around us clean. Nowadays, with this corona and this disease, we need to keep our surrounding clean, right? As we need to keep ourselves clean, right? Right or no? It is so important to do this. Yes. <clears throat> Boys, again, RCV writing, sorry. And readers and writers. Okay, so do you understand the meaning of a letter to the editor? It is a letter where you put your problem on it and you need everyone, do not open the page now, and you need everyone to know about this problem so you can find a solution to it. Okay, now, Open your readers and writers notebook on page 318. Page 318. 318 readers and <coughs> writers. Okay, letter to the editor. Key feature of a letter to the editor. What do we mention on the letter of the, to the editor? Include the date, salutation. Salutation means dear whatsoever, the name. You can simply write it, dear editor. Body, body is your paragraph. Closing, sincerely, faithfully, with love, yours, and then end it with your signature. What do we write? Written to bring attention to an issue or problem. Often tries to be persuasive. Persuasive, you, know, you have to mention your problem a lot. You have to give more details about your problem so the people or the readers should believe that this is a serious problem and it must have a solution to it. Let's read this sample. See here they wrote the letter January 5, 2009. Oh, long time ago, 11 years ago. Then, dear editor, maybe she doesn't know, or uh, yes, it's a guy, she doesn't know the name of the person. She should write, dear editor, at the Smith School, we have a terrible playground. So now, this girl sent a letter to discuss a problem about her school. 
they have a terrible playground. Why is it terrible? She cannot just say, we have a terrible playground. She must be persuasive, so she must write more details. We have rusty monkeys, monkey bars and a slide that is not slippery. We do not have a jungle gym or a merry-go-round like Jones' school. So she's just comparing her school with another school. The ground is cement. If people fall, they might get hurt. Cement is like the street. This playground is no fun. It is also dangerous. Students need a good playground. I sit all day in my classroom. I work, I work hard learning and taking tests. So recess is important to me. I want to have fun at recess. The students at the Smith School have voted for a new playground. It will have a jungle gym and a merry-go-round. It will have a floor made of recycled tires, so if people fall, they would, won't get hurt. We will pay for the new <coughs> playground by raising money. We are holding a bake sale in the school, like a bazaar where they sell cakes and whatsoever, uh, and the school gym on January 17 and 18. On February 7 and 8, we will collect glass and aluminum in the school parking lot to recycle. We hope people will come to these events to help us earn our new playground. Sincerely, Casey Taff. So she's only discussing what kind of things she want to be fixed and be added to the school playground. And she wants the readers who are reading this in newspaper to help her and her school. Question number one. Draw a star next to the date. Where is the date? This is the date. Write a star next to it. Yeah. All of you. Draw a star next to the date. I don't know. I write the page number 318. 318. Stop asking about the page. Okay. Uh, draw a star next to the solution. Solution dear and the name. Where is dear the editor here? Solution always means when you write dear editor, this dear and the name, we call it solution. Hi means solution. Hello, good morning, good afternoon. All of these are solutions. So write a star next to the dear editor. And a star near the beginning of the body or the paragraph. What is the beginning of the paragraph? At Smith School. Draw a star next to at Smith School. Here, all of the stars are on the page. You can see them. Draw a star near the uh, closing. What is the closing? A closing is when we write sincerely, with love, faithfully. So draw a star next to sincerely. Okay. And the last thing is a draw, a, draw a star next to the signature. Signature is the name of the person who sent the letter. Draw a star next to the signature. No, it does not have to be at the same star, of course. So we drew a star next to the date. Revise with me, please. We make a star next to the solution. We make a star near the body of the paragraph. We make a star next to the um, closing. <coughs> and a star next to the signature. Question two, write the name of the student who wrote the letter. What is the name of the student? <coughs> the name is written on the signature. Where is her signature? Here, Cassie Taff, or Casey Taff. So write her name on question number two. You finish? Question three, 
underline the issue or a problem the students bring up in her letter. Question number one, we finish it, Ya Burhan. Here is a question one. Look at all of the stars on the page and draw them like it is drawn here, near the date, near the solution, near the body of the paragraph, near the closing, and near the signature. Now, what is the problem? That at Smith School, we have a terrible playground. Underline this sentence, please. Because this is the problem. At Smith School, we have a terrible playground. Just underline, draw a line. The answer is there. The answer is in front of you. Do you see this line in red? Underline the same sentence. At Smith School, we have a terrible playground. Under it, under it, line it. No, do not write it, underline it only. Okay. List three details that support the student's opinion. The student here on this paragraph, see these three lines? She wrote what kind of problems they have on the school. Write three of them, please. Choose any three of them, any three that you want, and write them. I'll give you one minute to finish. Okay. Write anything that you want. Okay, mommy. You have a three problems. Why? You have a three problems, right? Uh, you have so many problems, sorry. Choose three of them and write. What window? This is what you do, uh, Rital. See, on these three lines, we have rusty monkey bars and a slide that is not slippery. See, here we have two problems already. A rusty monkey bars, a slide that is not slippery. Here on these three lines on the first paragraph, Casey listed all of the problems that they have on the playground. Choose three of them and write them on number two, on question number two. Okay, Rital? This like the comprehension part, whatever you want. This like a comprehension part on the exam, the one that you have on the exam where you have to find the answer from the paragraph, right? Consider it as a practice. Okay, good. I cannot hear you, Sham. Did you finish? We will read the question three now. Okay, question three. Uh, <clears throat> what does this student want the readers of the newspaper to do? Re, uh, here, on February 7 and 8, we will collect glass and aluminum in the school parking lot to recycle. We here hope people will come to these events to help us. So what do they want from the people to do? to come and help them with what? 
with collecting glass and aluminum from the school parking lot. Right? What's wrong, Sham? Sham, what's wrong? You can talk, Sham. Finish number two. Okay, finish it then. You still have much? No. Yalla, finish it. Okay, so on question number three, they are asking you, on question three, no, 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 right, do not underline, right, on question number three, they want you to, uh, we do not have it, okay, on the question number three, they want you to write what do the uh, writer or Casey want from the people to do. She wants them to come to their school, collect glass and aluminum in the school parking lot to recycle. This is the answer. This is the answer. Here, collect glass and aluminum in the school parking lot to recycle. This is a question three. Yeah. Write it under question three, Adai. You do not have a space. We do have a line. Question three. Okay, question four. Draw a box. <coughs> Draw a box around the three words or phrases that pursue that persuade the reader to help. <coughs> How do you know? Sham, did you finish? You can talk. Yes. Good. Did you all finish with the question three? I will not repeat. Question one is the stars. Question two is when we underline the first sentence and write the three problems from this paragraph. Question three, this is a question three. I underline it for you on blue. Now with question four, we just have to draw a box. Please, I keep repeating the answers for so many times. I repeated the answers for so many times, please. Now, how do you know that the reader really want to find a solution to her problem? What words did she write to pursue the readers to help her? Write it for me. What do you think? Words like the playground is dangerous, works like we want a safe playground, words like I would like you to help, Words like uh, I, we work, I work hard. Uh, works like the playground is no fun. We hope, I wish, 
All of these are persuading wor uh, persuasive words. So circle three or draw a box around the three of persuasive words. Let me draw for you. Like dangerous here. Dangerous is not something good for the kids. It's not good to have a dangerous school. Uh, I work hard. I am drawing a box for you. Draw a box, how many words do we want to three? Okay. Uh, we hope, this is another persuasive word. Draw a box around these three words, please. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Make a fun playground, yes. They want people hurt, yes, excellent. Rital, Rital, I repeated number one so many times. You have to draw a star next to the date, next to the solution, next to the body. Here are the stars. Who is it drawing? Who is it drawing? The box are the persuasive words. Persuasive is how they wanted to convince the readers to help them. Layan, stop drawing, yeah, Layan. Okay. Now, I want you to open your uh, writing booklet. This is your homework. Not this one. Yes, page 40 on the writing booklet. I will just read it for you because I have to go. Uh, you have to write a letter about an important issue of your community. The example that I gave you about cleanliness, how, how to keep your surrounding clean, is an important issue, especially nowadays. So I want you to write a letter to the editor discussing the problem on how people do not keep the community or the surrounding you clean, okay? So this is your homework. You have to do it and show it to me on next Thursday. Uh, write a letter to the editor about an important issue of your community, okay? <clears throat> Page 40, yeah. Now, leave the meeting and go to the math. Bye, see you on Sunday and have a nice weekend. Stay at home on this weekend, please. Do not leave your houses. See you, bye.